So I just want to tell you a little bit about this uh, new research that we're working on uh, with the Can Canadian Cancer Foundation uh, funding. And uh, one of the things we do, and this is in the lab of Dale Laird at the university, is that we look at this new uh, channel forming protein. In general, we look at how cell communication is important in cancer, and we see how these cells have to talk to each other to either form a, um, a tumor or maybe even metastasize. They really need to communicate and know when to stop dividing. There are two main families that we look at of proteins. One is the connexins. There's 21 connexins. And they are more involved in what we call face-to-face -face communication, or the direct con communication between two cells in those green dots that you see over there. And thus, um, the panexins ones, which are the new ones that we have discovered, are more like long-distance communication. So that channel that they form is more like the cell phone sending signals or texting to long-distance places where the cells can communicate. Panexins are highly expressed in, in the skin, so you can hardly see it there, but all those red dots are panexins in the skin, in different uh, cell types of the skin, and particularly in melanocytes, which are the cells that make your pigment, that protect your skin. And we're interested in melanoma because melanoma is a, is a rare case of skin, of skin cancer, which is only 6,000 cases, but it's very deadly, compared to some of the other non-melanoma skin cancers that are more common but not as serious. And of course, I hope you know that one of the, the reasons why melanoma is so prevalent right now is because of the use of uh, indoor tanners or UV radiation, which make you 74% times more likely to develop melanoma in your lifetime. So these panexins, like um, they mentioned, they are present in normal cells. <clears throat> so you need one cell phone over there on your, on, on your cells to communicate, and that's normal, that's okay. The problem is when these cells get transformed into not normal cells but melanoma cells and it's like having a teenager with too many cell phones and texting all the time. So you don't want that to happen. That's too much communication. And when they do that, they just keep dividing and they can form a tumor or they can metastasize. So the first thing we do is we confiscate that cell phone. We do a knockdown of the panexin one in these melanoma cells and we can really reduce it with this um, SH technology, SHRNA that we use. So we can um, at least low, lower the, the amount of communication that happens. And the first thing we saw is that the melanoma cells there on the first panel look different from the ones that don't have the panexins. The, pan the ones that when we remove the panexins, they actually look more like normal melanocytes. So we can change them into more normal cells. We use the same um, chick embryo assay that Hong was mentioning, and we put these cells in these chicken embryos so that we can test and see if they can grow these tumors, if they grow bigger tumors or smaller tumors. And then we can also see if they do metastasis in the chick organs and we can quantify that and say, okay, are these panexins, now are they or not there, now the cells can move more and grow bigger, uh, move, move less and, grew, and grow smaller tumors. So that's what we quantify over here. We see that by removing those cell phones or the panexins, we can really, um, revert these cells into a normal melanocyte, melanocyte that uh, forms smaller tumors and can metastasize much less than the normal ones. Now, that's in mouse cells, but we wanted to see what happens in human tumors. And we see that in human tumors, we also have a correlation. You see from the low to the high is normal skin with melanoma skin. So we see that panexins are much more highly expressed in, uh, in tumors. We can use a blocker, a chemical that can block these uh, panexin channels and we can reduce the way they grow. These are numbers of cells, what you see there, or growth curves. We can really reduce the, the proliferation of these cells, the way they grow. And we can change also their morphology. So not only removing the cell phones is good, but plugging the cell phone with a blocker and making sure that they cannot send any text to their fellow friends, and then they cannot grow so much. So there's uh, some hope for, for future studies in this. We think that we can also test different uh, stages of the disease and see if maybe we can use these panexins as a biomarker of the disease. We can uh, use some of the drugs that are specifically blocking the panexin function, maybe and hopefully as future um, targets for melanoma treatment, hopefully new chemotherapies that can be used. And uh, this uh, part, like I said, is being funded by the innovation grant that we have for this, for this project. Uh, this is the Lair Lab and all our collaborators and the funding agencies. And these are the people that make things happen and we hope that there's a bright future for melanoma research with this. Thank you.